everyone welcome back to my youtube channel now this video i'm going to show you how to use the built-in maths equations in uh, pages okay so um i've listed out all the uh, most of the function that i find useful especially when i come to mathematics sometimes i can use it for physics some of those symbols can be used for even uh, for chemistry. Yeah. It is especially useful when uh, you want to set question for term examination. Uh, this function will be very handy. Now this video is actually a follow-up video from my previous video that I showed you how to insert the equation using uh, um, the built-in maths equation yeah you may watch my previous video up here should be here now for that version in case that uh, you have not upgrade your uh, OS into a uh, Mac Sierra because uh, way back before Sierra in uh, let's say for example Mac Maverick they do not have this function so let me show you this if you are in pages you never get your mouse to uh, up upper left hand corner you go to insert Basically, you do not have this equation thing, right? So in order to um, say insert an equation, you go to insert and then choose equation. And then a new window will pop up. If you do not find this, it's a very high chance that you have not upgraded your system into a uh, Mac Sierra. I think the current version now is a Mac High Sierra. Okay? But I'm using the Max Sierra. I mean the version before that is Max Sierra. So uh, they use a LaTeX script. If you have some uh, basic uh, programming, uh, you should be able to find it really easy to insert the equation. But if you do not have any uh, programming uh, previous experience with programming, then you go through this video. By the end of it, you should be able to insert the equation. Let's start out with a simple one. Let's say over here. Say I want to insert a quadratic equation right it doesn't really matter it's just a name or maybe a linear equation it says I have y you just uh, shift y capital y equal you press an equal symbol equals to say mx plus c shift plus c and here you go you press insert oh, where is it down here oh yeah it's here okay so you may edit it using the format built in into pages. You may uh, centralize it. You may insert the text, uh, reduce text size, increase text size. You may change the overall color, the overall color, okay, etc. You may bow it. I think you may even change the uh, font type. Let me see. Uh, yeah. No, you can't. You can't, right? Can change the font type, right? So this is what you can do. Okay. So if in the event you want to change it later, you want to change the equation, you change the number. So what you do is just double click, and then you may just change it from here, and then you, you get it. The same goes with the one quadratic equation. Let's here double click. Now things will be a rather complicated now because now you have a square, right? So even with a square, you use a cap, right? So, say for example, I'm going to do it again. Say I want y equals to a x squared. You use shift 6. Shift 6 is actually the cap squared. Well, in a latex equation, the system do not recognize spacebar. But the spacebar helps me to see. Oh, so this is uh, a x squared. And here is a space, huh? but the system look down here. It doesn't recognize the space, so I think it's good to use the space block so that it's easier for me to recognize that equation. B x plus c. Even if I do not include a space, it will look the same spacing. So, but it's easier if I have a space bar. Then I get my equation in already. Yeah, what else can you do? Okay, how do I get this? Equation of plus and minus and square root, right? So you know how to do that. Now I'm gonna change it. Say for example, 
how do I write this? Right? So I will have x equals to you do not straight away type in the equation. Here you need a curly bracket. Curly bracket is the one near to the P. Okay, you should press on shift, press on the one close bracket, and then the, the open bracket, the close bracket will appear in gray out. Right? So you just navigate your cursor to the right and then it will yeah, this is a function. Maybe you want to embed a long equation, normally you use a curly bracket. So it's a negative B, so it's a negative B. Right? So now plus and minus, plus and minus, they do not have it. They do not have this uh, button in your keyboard. You wouldn't find a plus and minus sign. So it's a function. So if you were to be a function, you need to use a backslash. Okay? Black backslash is the one uh, located underneath of a delete keyboard. So backslash, this is a function. Um, you're going to tell us this, oh, this is a function. What function do we use? I will use a plus and minus, P and M. Plus and minus, then it will appear now. See, it's a function p and m. So whenever those symbols not available, are not available from uh, you can't get from a keyboard, so you use a function. So this is a function. Backslash means a function. Plus and minus. Then now again square root. There's no such keyboard. I mean you can't find such a key in your keyboard. So what you do is a function. So backslash again. I use a space bar so that's easier for me to read. Okay, but the system do not recognize the space bar. Backslash square root SQRT. SQRT what is also a function inside there are lots of things. So I will use a curly bracket again. Then here I use a B squared. So B squared is a cap to B squared. You look at here and think so that you know what's happening. B squared space easier for me to see minus four. A C. Here you go. So now you got up correctly. Now you may you may add in other symbols. Say for example A and C, I want to have a dot. It means that you times. So in order for you to do a dot again, this dot is not available. You can't find it from the keyboard. It's a function. So what you do, you use a slash, a backslash dot. It's a center dot, isn't it? Does this dot appear in between? So C dot. Okay, so I use I think it's better to use a space but it's easier for me to see C dot C. So see yeah, there's a dot in between now. Okay, if I do not have this function then this dot will be gone. Then what I'm going to do after that would be over O V R two of A. See, this whole thing is in appear to be in one line. Okay, over is again some function not available from a keyboard. That's why I use a backslash. Okay, then once you're satisfied with it, you press on update or insert. Then it appears there. Then you click onto it. You may use what centralize it. Yeah, you get the equation. Now. What happened if I want to tally my equation with the one up here? Say I want how oh, can I uh, have a color over here? Say I do not want the whole equation to have color. I just want a single variable up here to be a uh, uh, color. So what can we do about it, right? So um, for that one, to insert a color, you can uh, you need to add in more function. Say. Um, Double click. It will be very complicated. So let me try it out here. In between here, if my B intended to be have color, then I should have. Let me try. C O L R color. I want to say to be a red color. Red color. I want it to be a B. Okay, so it works. See, and this is how you color only single variable. Show you again. This part you may actually pause my video and then uh, you rewind back to how I did it, right? 
So this one here. So this whole function represents the B to be in color. Curly bracket, function color, red B. Then you get red B. Then the same goes here. If I the B wanted to I want to make it to be red, double click this equation, look for your B. So earlier I told you that oh it's good that to have space in between because space bar is easier for me to read. This is what I meant about that. So if I want to do edit, editing during printing, so what happened is uh yeah, B here. Then um uh, I use a curly bracket, open and close. It's good practice to open a bracket and close a bracket. Then color, say red. What do you want to color in red? It's actually your B, my B. Let's use a bracket so I can see it clearly. So update, here you go. Single B being color. Right? You pause my video. And then I you may want to rewind back to the previous bit that you have missed. Okay, now let's proceed to the next one. How about other symbol? Let's say I want to use a multiplication, the symbol of multiplication. So again, um, I use the shortcut key. Now shortcut key to uh, insert an equation would be a command alternate. Command alternate E. Command alternate E will enable me to bring up this uh, window. So if I want it to be a times, Symbol, then you get a time. Say for example, I want it to be A times B. Here you go. You do not want to use an X because if you were use if you were to use an X, A B, so you appear X already, so it's not nice. And then what happened now is in the line now, can you you press an enter, it doesn't really recognize those symbols. A minus B. It appear in the same line, isn't it? Yeah. The same goes with uh, how about I want it to be a fraction. Okay, um, let's say I have um, 18 divided by 4. No such thing, right? So, because the backslash represents a function. Okay? Slash represents a divide. But if you don't want it to be in this form, I want it to be a fraction form. What you can do, you use backslash frac fraction 2 curly bracket you have 2 number 18 by 3 or you may use uh, dy division 1 divide say uh, I want 4 dy 5 then now here comes the question why is it that they all appear in the same line? Unless I want to do it line by line, insert one equation, then like what I did just now. Can I insert all equation into one window? Okay, the question is yes, you may do so. You may key in all equation here first, then you do the function, or before that, let me cut it so it's empty. Before that, what can you do? You need to align them. This is a line function, it's a long one. So you start with begin. I want to begin a line followed by end a line. Okay, so now if I were to paste my previous equation, it's still one line. By the end of each line, each line, I press backslash twice you can see that it's now being space spacebar in latex is represents by double backspace double backslash see you can see it's too small isn't it so uh, what can you do is I uh, insert and all my equation will appear here I hope you can see it now it is no longer appear in one line. It's now being spaced out. Okay, so I'll double click for you, have a look. You may want to copy down of this useful function. This is dy. It's 4 dy over 5. Okay, you may add in your equation line by line or you may add in in about by using 
begin align and end align. Now, some other function, say for example, I have gone through it times already, so you might want to delete it off. This is, don't need this anymore. So you've learned that, you've learned fraction, you've learned dy. I've also covered uh, square root with you just now. Now here comes to trigonometry. Trigonometry, say for example, I want to have sine theta. How can I do that? I mean, uh, command alternate E, say I want a sine of theta. Here you go, sine theta. You can have your cosine alpha, right? Then you may use the uh, you may use the uh, align begin align and align. Then end of each line, you press double backslash insert. I'll have my alpha or theta. You may color it, of course, just like what I showed you earlier. You may reverse or we may rewind to the previous speed. How do I uh, add in a color, right? So I've colored with you theta. Then what's here? It's alignment. Okay, say sometimes I want to align my uh, equal sign. How can I align my equal sign? Say here, I want it to be like this. If in the event I use this ampersand symbol, this symbol is actually shift 4. No, I mean shift 7. Not shift 4. That allows me to align my equal sign towards the left. Say for example, if anything appear after my ampersand symbol, it will be pushed to the left. It's actually an anchor or a datum. If in the event I have my equal sign appear or anything appear over the left hand side of my ampersand symbol, now I'm moving to the left. I hope you see the difference. In the pause this video, rewind the previous speed. If I have anything appear over the left hand side of my ampersand symbol, the equation will be pushed to the left. In the event if anything appear on my right, the equation will push to the right. And this is how you use the ampersand symbol. But you must have the align function. Okay, update, done. Here comes submission. How do I get this function? Again, this is the one. You use backslash, sum, sum, open and close curly bracket, A, I've covered with you the center dot, B, meaning the submission of the product A and B. Okay, then um, what's the difference between C dot and dots? Okay, say for example, I have 0 0.667, and then I have dots. And this is how you do it. You do not need to press three times or so many times of full stop, but just backslash dots. Compared to with dots. They are oh, compared to the C dot. X. The C dot means it's a times dots, it's continuing number. Okay, so again, I didn't use the align key, that's why you can't find it. Now, when it comes to, um, say, chemistry, for example, we need to use quite lots of uh, 
arrow. Say I have uh, the, to calculate the stoichiometry for titration, for example. You have, um, well, this is a simple equation. Say uh, a product A, you mix with another product B, then you get C and D. How can you get the arrow in, right? So in order to do that, it's a function, definitely, because you can't find this uh, key in your keyboard. So backslash, um, this is actually the right arrow. I mean, I want to have a right arrow and become C and D. Right, so you want to write arrow, this is how you do it, run it, this is how. Then another time that uh, we need not only just arrow, but um, how about can I have double arrow? Okay, left and right. So say, um, how can you do it? Can you have a double arrow? Centralize it. Yes. It's right, left, happens, right? So this is, say for example, I have A plus B, left, right, happens, C, D. And this is how you do it. And update, thing you have this now, okay? Then, um, in some other times that you might need even delta, so it's delta y in case you need it. How about a circle? You have this, meaning center circle, right? Mm. It's a circle, it's a dot, time of times, vector, for example. Okay, and now, oh, override arrows you can have this as well. I say it's. Um, you want a, an arrow in vector, yeah? So this is how you do it. Over, right arrow, like a vector. Normally we use this a lot, right? So, okay, in one line, if you want it to be a different line, then you need to use the align function, okay? Then uh, for vector, no, for matrix, now this is how you do it. Matrix A and B double slash C and D double slash matrix. Instead of using a line, you use matrix. Then I think uh, I won't drag on this uh, video too much because you may practice, you may go online, look for other symbol. I think the last one is inequalities. Say I have 4x more than easily 8, say for example. It's easy to find more than. How about more than or equal to? Right? So in order to do that, you don't find this symbol from the keyboard, so backslash greater than or equals to 8. This is how you do it. How about now I do not want this, how about less than or equals to? Then it will be quite intuitively less is L, less than or equals to. Right? Um, you may actually look for other symbol from around. The internet, but how you have to do that is you could navigate your mouse up down here, press on this button. You may find, you know, how do you use it? You prefer the text guide, or you press on about la text like support. You need internet connection, but in the event that you don't have internet connection, then uh, you might you find it hard to uh, get support already, right? So, um, what I have here, I think, should be enough to. Set equation for uh, term examination to so add an equation into your examination paper, the term exam paper, right? So um, that's all from me this time. Um, hope you might want to like my video. It's free. You might want to subscribe to my channel. That's all from me. Thank you. Goodbye.